Hey, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use the auto dose function on the new Samsung washing machines. So the first thing you need, obviously, is your washing liquid. Auto dose function only works with liquid. Powder is for manual use only. So let's move in a bit closer to the washing machine so that we can see how to use this function. So we'll start right at the top here. So on the top left corner here, you'll see there is the soap dispenser drawer. So you need to pull a tab inside there and pull it to you. Now that we've got that exposed, you can see inside there, there is three sections. You've got one, two, and three. So it actually says on them what they're all for. So the one on your left here is for your softener, it says auto softener. And then the one on the right says auto detergent. So that's for your washing detergent. And obviously it says liquid only. Now when you're using auto dispense, this can last up to a month. So you don't have to put liquid or powder in a month. This is under the assumption that you wash four times a week, which is pretty generous. So if you wash only like once a week, then that will probably last you a long, long, long time. It also depends what settings you've put on the washing machine as to how much liquid or how much um, softener it's putting in each cycle. We'll get into that in the next few minutes. But to add some liquid so that it can do the auto dose, you have these little cups that you, these little covers that you twist. And even there, you can see that there's a sign there, a little key, like a lock. You twist it anti-clockwise and you lift it. And then you put it in here. I'd say don't put in too much that it's overflowing. Otherwise it just gathers up and then gunks and this is just looking all bad. So make sure you put just enough of what you need. And then when you're done with that, make sure that you lock it up. The same thing would apply to the detergent. So you'd use that. So I know a lot of people use Calgon. Um, depends, whatever brand you have, you can just use it in there. Just make sure you put it in the right one because softener tends to uh, be used less than the liquid. So make sure you put in the right drawer, the right detergent, the right softener. So I use uh, Radiant. Whatever you use is pretty okay to use. So you do that and then to close it up, make sure that it's nice and closed. So to close it up, make sure you line it up. It's got little tabs on it that line up with the holes there. And then you twist it clockwise and then it locks up. For those that will be using powder, powder goes in there and, and uh, liquid also goes in there. So um, if you want to use it manually, you use that. But for the automatic, you use these two. Make sure you don't get that confused. So that's about it. You put it in there, then you close it up. Now, when it comes to the washing machine, how to set up these options, We'll get into that now. What you want to do is turn your washing machine on and it's got the normal stuff that you have when it starts. So what you want to do is you actually want to go onto the settings menu, the additional settings menu, which is where you set the auto dose quantities and um, how often it puts the liquid or softener in the wash cycle. So to do that, you need to use the extra options buttons, which is this button and which is the little, this little hand with the plus sign. You press that, that's got the additional functions. And then you turn the dial to browse and see what you can do with that. So you've got all these other options like bubble soap. So you got dose per wash. This is where we are gonna focus on. So the dose per wash, this is where you set how many times it it puts liquid or softener in the wash. So you tap that for the auto dose dispense. So it's you can set it to high or off. So if you want to use it um, manually putting in your liquid or your powder, 
you can always choose that function to do it manually. But if you're one of those people who just wants to do it automatically, there is that option, which is, I'll just go through again, extras option. And then it's about the fourth option there when you're going to the right. So currently it's off. You can turn it back on by pressing this OK button. And then it's set to low if you want to go for a long time, if you don't want to put too much. And what you want to do then is you can also set it to medium or you can set it to high. Probably if you're setting it to high, it's maybe when you have clothes that are soiled a lot. Or if you notice that after the wash cycle, your clothes are not clean enough after every wash cycle and uh, it was on medium or it wasn't low, you can always add more washing powder. And of course, sorry, more washing liquid. And of course, you can also look at the other options like pre-wash or bubble soak, which will help your clothes to wash better. So the problem might not lie in how much liquid it's dispensing, it might lie in it having to do pre-wash or bubble soak. So bubble soak is mixing the liquid with air bubbles at the start of the cycle so that it really penetrates those stubborn stains and makes for a better wash. So that's something that you might wanna look into. And to turn that on, you just go extras button and you've got bubble soak. So you can turn it on, the tip, that's for like a 30 minute soak with bubbles. So you can do that as well. So that's how you do that. That's about it for auto dispense function. So to sum it up, you use your liquid or, and your softener, you put it in this drawer and you set and forget about it for a month. Actually, if there's low liquid or low softener, it'll actually tell you that you're running low. And if you've got the Samsung Smart Things app, it'll actually notify you when you're running low and then you can top it up so that you don't have any surprises when you go and wash and there's no washing liquid or washing or softener. So that's pretty good on Samsung's part. So that's something that I hope you guys will be able to fully use because it's a really good function to use. If you have any questions, any thing that you don't understand, I'll be more than happy to help. Just comment in the comment section below and I'll help you guys out. And as always, consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed. I always post a lot of these videos on demos of Samsung washing machines and how to repair because you never know what might break down on a washing machine. I touch on other washing machines as well and it goes a long way to help this ch channel. Gently smash that like button if you found any value in this video. It goes a long way to help the fun channel as well. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Cheers.